2018 was a crazy year for vaping. With tons of new innovation, new trends, and old trends returning, what's gonna happen next? We came up with some of our own predictions for the vape industry in 2019, so let's dive in. The vaping industry is proof that history repeats itself. 2018 was filled with old ideas becoming cool again. Squonking came back full force with tons of new custom mechanical boxes, as well as a lot of companies finally getting regulated mods to a T. I'm back, baby. Another big trend to come back was mouth to lung vaping because of salt nicotine. Mouth to lung vaping became popular again, and instead of the rough free base nicotine that we were all used to, people have switched to salt nicotine for a much smoother alternative. It really seemed like mouth to lung vaping was dying out, but this really brought new life to this disappearing niche. It's alive! Oh, that fellow at Radio Shack said I was mad. Well, who's mad? Cigalake batteries and disposable vapes are also becoming very popular again because of salt nicotine. With all this old gear coming back, it's really starting to look like vaping is going to be running in a full circle. For all I know, melt to lung vaping could die out again and sub will just come right back on top. I think the next old trend that's going to come back is vape phone cases. I had a few friends with these. They had simple voltage adjustments and a 510 thread to put on your tank of choice. I always thought these were really convenient, but I'm really surprised they haven't come back as pod systems yet. I really expect to see something like this happen in 2019. It's going to be extremely discreet, which is going to be very popular. Who knows, maybe retro vaping gear will become popular now. There's no doubt about it that salt nicotine was the most popular innovation to get big in 2018. While not necessarily being brand new, the rising popularity of Juul created juice makers everywhere to join the salt nicotine craze. With all these new high nicotine juices hitting the market, the sub ohm setups that everyone was used to just weren't going to cut it. And this is where we get into the biggest innovation in 2018 that's going to continue to 2019, pod systems. Everyone is finally able to get that Juul experience at a much cheaper price. With this new method of vaping using open pod systems that you could fill with your own juice, companies started getting really crazy and making all sorts of different designs. Because everyone can't get enough of pod systems, companies started developing these pods with replaceable coils. That way you're able to test out different heating elements to find your perfect match. Now that everyone's getting used to switching out their coils again, I think companies are gonna start producing a lot more tiny mods and tanks. One of the craziest innovations that I see is gonna jump up in 2019 is ultrasonic vaping. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the did you just say? USANASIG created the first ultrasonic vaporizer. By vibrating the juice at 2.4 million times per second at really high frequencies, it actually starts creating vapor from the liquid. Because it's not using metal or anything else to heat up the liquid, it actually provides a much cooler and smoother vape. While their first device, the Rhythm, may have had a lot of mixed reviews from consumers, I really think with more tweaking, it could be the next big thing. The first version is never perfect, as you can see, but that was also very apparent with mesh coils. When mesh coils first came out, everyone was kind of skeptical about it, but now people can't get enough. Coilless vaping is always improving. From ceramic to heat plates sandwiched in cotton and now ultrasonic vaping, who knows what's gonna be next? Maybe they're gonna start making heat rods that absorb liquid. Some of the biggest vaping news for 2019 is the fact that a giant tobacco company, Altria, just bought 35% of Juul. Say what? With one giant company already going into this market, it's only a matter of time until we start seeing brands like Smok, Joytech, maybe even Kangertech also being bought out by Big Tobacco. If the vape industry is being ran by Big Tobacco, who are we really fighting against? We can only hope that this is gonna help more people quit smoking and start vaping, but I guess we'll just have to see how 2019 plays out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. What kind of predictions do you have for 2019? Make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell. That way you'll be the first to know about any new video that we post. And last but not least, don't forget to check us out on social media. That's where you'll find the latest sales, giveaways, and other awesome updates with Flamingo. My name's Cam and I'll see you in the next one.